Welcome to the Boo Lab. I'm Danielle. And I'm Patricia. We're playing Mario Slam Basketball. Whoa. So basically, it's a version of basketball, but using bombs, which is to say it's way, way more dangerous than actual basketball. <laughs> yeah, you know, basketball's not the most high injury sport. Oh, but look! Oh my god, it's a party when you actually <laughs> make a basket. Yeah. That's how actual basketball should be. Yeah, it's kind of a little NBA jam going on in here. So you were telling me uh, yeah. that you used to play basketball when you were younger? I did. I, I played, mean, yeah, when I was a kid, like uh, middle school and in early parts of high school, I played basketball and I was pretty decent at it, but I never got really tall enough. I was a point guard. I'm like 5'4". Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man. See, that's, that's, I was wow. kind of like mini Mario here. I never really grew super tall, so... Yeah, I'm going back up. Alright. You gotta get that mushroom. Yeah. You gotta get that power up before you play. Yeah. You know? It's like this game's version of Gatorade, I don't know. <laughs> mushroom aid? Yeah. Mario aid? Mario aid? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I played a lot of sports growing up, and then I still do. Like, I... Yeah, I was about to say, like, okay, what sport did you not play when you were Because <laughs> Danielle, for those of you that don't know is is kind of a jock. She, I'm she, such a jock. She loves every sport, and in fact, I think we're probably soon about to start another, like, vlogging series uh, within the Cabal that's just her doing fitness stuff, like, teaching you how to- th Oh, I shouldn't have taken that! No! That's alright. Uh, teaching you guys how to do- how to throw a punch, like, mm -hmm. what sort of workouts you can do, and all that other stuff. That's just how much look at Look at this! Loves. Working out and stuff. Yeah, look at this trick shot setup. You gotta jump on the spring, you gotta do all this whole thing. Um, yeah, I I played so when I was a kid I played no! basketball and I played softball. Mm -hmm. And then as a teenager I started doing martial arts. I started doing Japanese jujitsu and like a traditional form of karate. And then as an adult, I started boxing and doing B Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I've been a competitive runner, like a serious competitive runner, um, since high school. Like, I was the I was the captain of my cross-country team in college, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, I was pretty decent. I was never the best. Fuck. Oops. See, I was never the best, like, dead <laughs> Mario here. I was never the best girl on my team, but I was always kind of, like, the second best. I was always, like, pretty good, oh, just not the wrong. fastest. I'm just gonna tell myself. No, Sorry. why would you do such because a thing? Because I already hurt myself. Oh my right. god, suicide basketball over yeah. here. Um, yeah, I started- I played soccer myself in when, when I was in school. I started in high school, and I think that was probably the most competitive that I ever was, because we, like, we got to- oh my god, we got to a <laughs> final in San Francisco uh, in high school, which was cool. And then for in college, I played also- for Hampshire College, but mm. it was it was more chill. Like I wasn't really playing to be number one or even be particularly good. It was more of a social thing, which is yeah. kind of funny because at my school, so I went to a really like hippie know, college, hippie college <laughs> where no one played sports. Almost like it was it was difficult getting eleven people to play uh, on the team. <laughs> Are you serious? I'll put it, I'll put it to you that wow. way. Wow. Yeah. Party. That's funny. I, I went to my college for, so I went to grad school after college, but my college, my normal four-year university was a very jock-oriented college, yeah. so we went actually. To completely different schools. Yeah, we really did. I mean, it was a liberal arts college, but like, and it was division three, so it wasn't like crazy, but um, like, okay, for running, division three is actually still competitive because you're probably not going to get, you know, ridiculous scholarships for running, basically. Mm -hmm. So like, People who are competitive runners might still go to a D3 school mm -hmm. because they're going for engineering or they're going for whatever else. Like, it's not like a football scholarship. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. it's a sport that doesn't have quite the same yeah. pull as other sports. So, it, Division Three is, is reasonably competitive for cross-country. And I played lacrosse, too, in college, actually. And I never, um, I never had a high school lacrosse team, so I taught myself how to play lacrosse and got kind of good enough to play on the, you know, the varsity team in college. Danielle tried teaching me also. Basically, she threw the... I threw the ball. What are they called? The, the... It's just a ball. Oh, okay. It's just I, a lacrosse I, I ball. They, were, they had a special name or something. She threw the ball at me 
very hard not, over and over again. Isn't that hard? That's how I learned. I had well, a to friend. You, to you, maybe it didn't seem Okay, that hard all right, I understand. Because you're used to it, but to me, it was like, holy shit, Here's, this thing could break my nose. Well, it probably could. Here's how I learned how to play lacrosse. I had a very good friend who was a gay softball player. I had her wail at me with a lacrosse stick and a lacrosse ball. And that's how I taught myself how to catch, <laughs> basically, with lacrosse. And that was the best possible strategy, because she could throw like a monster. And I had her just throw at me. Run, run, run. Number one. Run, number one. Oh, oh. shit. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, but I, I, had her, I had her like wail it at me, and that's how I learned to be like decent enough at stick skills. <laughs> My strategy. Find a gay softball player. <laughs> Sorry, it was, uh... I just saw the number one and it, and it dazzled me, and it's, I was just like, good. oh. It's a good thing to, da to be dazzled by number one. 